What's going on guys, T2RX6 here, back for another quick fix video, and this is actually the uh, New Generations Blitzwing, and I've got a question, and I'm sorry I can't remember who asked me it, um, I looked through all my email and I couldn't find your name again, but someone asked me how you remove the spring from Blitzwing's nose cone here, that way the uh, nose sits closed a little bit better, um, not perfect still, but it's a lot better um, before mine used to sit kind of like that because the head would force it open and so by removing the spring from it you keep his head from springing out it does absolutely nothing to prevent it from staying out when you have it transformed so it's a very simple quick mod that you know really doesn't it doesn't take away from the toy at all um, the only thing that you have to do is hold the head a little bit better when you're actually flipping the heads like so. But yeah, it doesn't really go in once you have it transformed. I guess if you shake it around a little, maybe it'll go in. Um, if you're messing with it, it'll go in. But once it's up, it's pretty well up there. So, I guess you can get it to go in a little bit. So I'm going to show you how to do that mod real quick. Um, Blitzwing here is extraordinarily easy to take apart and that's ultimately what most of this requires you to do and this will also show you what you need to do to fix his arm issue um, so we're gonna start by taking out these screws you got one here one here one here and one here so I'm gonna fast forward this Okay, so as you saw there, there was a fifth screw. I lied, I forgot. So this is the first thing that's going to be important. To actually fix the arm issue, what you want to do is take this and just kind of file these pieces down. And you're probably going to have to take this guy apart a number of times and uh, to figure this out. But basically file these edges, these posts, and these edges down. And what that's going to allow this to do is the body is going to sit more close together when you put it back together and screw everything in. Be careful not to over tighten your screws and it's really 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 a trial and error thing here. Let me take these off because they're in the way. It's going to be a trial and error thing as you put this all back together just because um, don't take too much off otherwise I've heard that you won't be able to transform them properly but you have to kind of close it, test it and see what happens. Um, I didn't have any luck when I tried to test fit it like this where I just kind of didn't completely put everything back together and just kind of brought the arms down into the position that they're supposed to be in. Um, you, I really had to put everything back together and just take a little at a time, little at a time, little at a time until the arms will sit. This one still doesn't sit as good. This one will lock in perfectly, but I'm fine with it. So you'll be left with this assembly here. Um, which you saw just kind of popped out of uh, this middle piece here. And what we're going to do, you'll take that out so you have it like this. And obviously your head will still be springy at this point. And you don't really need to do a whole bunch with this. All you're going to do is take out this screw right here. And... Once you've got this screw out, you're going to find that you can open it and be careful, don't pull too hard, but you'll be able to open it about like this. And if you look real carefully in there, you can see the round piece. That's what the spring is around. So what you'll do is just kind of open it just a little. Just be careful not to stress your plastic like this and just stick something in there, grab the spring and pull it straight out. And that'll be all you need to do. And once you do that, his head will no longer be stuck in there by spring so he's free to move in and out as you please and you'll take care of all that and you will notice his head is gonna fall in pretty easily like this 
but you have nothing holding the top of his nose cone together. The When you have that screw in there, it won't fall in. But the moment the screw is out, it's just going to fall back. But you'll see that that will now let you close up your whole head here pretty solidly and leave very little gap on there just because it's not trying to push it open anymore and then you're just free to put everything back together so now that we're gonna go put this back together before I fast forward here let me just show you these legs kind of come together like this and they'll specifically uh, size so they slide into the uh, cavities of each other there so you want to make sure you have this the right way when you're putting it back into his his uh, robot mode I guess when you're putting them back together so make sure when you have this going together that you have these little gray pieces forward um, that should be the way if I recall correct that it's going to come together and then the next thing to do is kinda put the cockpit in here and you know that his cockpit sits like this in his robot mode so that's how you know everything's gonna be fine there's gonna be this little groove right here that fits the mechanism for his cockpit so just stick that in there and then it's easier if you have the legs in the extended position here like so and then take this and just uh, put it in a position that you can easily fit it back on but just take that and once everything's in position here just kind of put it all together like that and now it's time to fast forward and put the screws in before you before we fast forward just be careful remember you're not you don't need to tighten these up ridiculously hard if it starts getting snug you're probably done if you go anymore you're gonna start stri stripping the plastic and then things aren't gonna work quite right so just snug and that's all so fast forward time All right, so we have everything all firmed up here again, and you should find when you uh, take a look at this guy that you have a cockpit for an airplane that the nose cone pretty well stays closed, so that's always a plus. And when we put him into his robot mode, like so, and we get everything all ready. And I can say that uh, after doing these little modifications to Blitzwing, I like him better than Springer. Uh, I don't know, your mileage may vary, but I think uh, Blitzwing is a more interesting toy to mess with than Springer, personally. And if we come in here and we kind of put his arms together in this crazy slot thing, you should find that they'll stay in and look it's not popping up if you did the sanding there so that's always a plus there we go and like this haven't transformed this guy for a while but nice and solid not going anywhere and let's see if this side wants to cooperate today or if this side is still gonna end up being a little bit looser We'll find out in a second. Pretty solid. This side definitely is weaker because I can see a whole bunch more movement on the top there. But yeah, definitely better than it was. Which once these, this is improved, this is such a good toy comparatively. Um, I always keep this kind of like that. And then just kind of move the nose cone down in position like so and then we just lift his head out and I might have to go back and tighten my up oh, I have to tighten my cockpit because you can see that my head is just falling too easy so let's 
Give it another little bit tighter, not much. And there we go. Blitz wings now set, his head solid again. Um, again, it is a little bit weaker than when you have a spring in there, but it the spring totally compromises the jet mode, so it's really an easy change to make to them that's going to make them infinitely better. So I hope this helped you guys if you choose to do these simple mods yourself. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to ask, and I will try to answer them the best I can. So this is T2RX6. I'll see you guys next week. And happy 4th of July.